Man saves girl asleep in snow. Gets an unexpected call from the bank. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Travis drove slowly and carefully as he made sure to be on the lookout for any signs of black ice on the road ahead of him. He slammed on his brakes the second he noticed her curled up body in the snow. He got out of his car and picked her up before putting her in his car. He turned the heat up and sped to the nearest hospital. He saved her life despite not knowing who she was. It was when the bank called him that he broke down and cried. Travis Daniel was a truck driver. He was going through a rough patch, worse than ever before, when he found himself driving on a snowy highway in Michigan. It was deep into winter and there were piles of snow everywhere. He drove carefully, making sure not to drive into any ice patches on the road. If he hadn't been driving so cautiously, he probably never would have spotted her. For the past few months, Travis had been working insane hours. It was no surprise that he was exhausted, he hardly slept. But that didn't stop him from accepting more jobs. He was headed for destruction, but he had no other choice. Travis was in his late 30s, and he had a wife and a daughter. His wife's name was Cindy, and she worked in administration. Things were meant to be going well, but months earlier they got a devastating phone call. They found out that Regina, their daughter, had a rare condition. There was a way to fix it, but it cost a lot more than they could afford. She needed surgery, but this surgery was sure to bankrupt the entire family. Travis promised his wife that he'd find a solution. That was why Travis was on the highway that day, but he had no clue that he was driving straight into trouble. Travis drove cautiously as he looked out for black ice on the road. That's when he saw her and stopped his vehicle. He pulled over and turned his hazards on before running into her. She was laying in the fetal position in the snow, wearing nothing but a pair of jeans and a top. She was almost buried under the snow at this point. His heart was racing as he tried to wake her up, but she was unresponsive. He was screaming for her to wake up as he shook her cold body, but there was no response. He fearfully checked for a pulse on her neck. Her skin was ice cold, and he was about to panic even more when her eyes shot open. Help me, she almost whispered as she looked up at Travis. He didn't hesitate to pick her up and place her in his truck. That's when he saw her ID. It fell from her pocket when he picked her up. He paused as he looked down at it. She looked vaguely familiar, he noticed before handing it back over to her. He forgot about the ID. He put the heat on full blast. He immediately made his way to the closest hospital and asked her what had happened, but she never answered him. But he continued to comfort and support her. She strangely reminded him of his young daughter back home. He got her into the hospital at no time. The doctors told him that she needed specialist care and that he had saved her life. Travis explained to doctors what had happened. It took no time for the cops to show up and they took an immediate interest in Travis. They started to interrogate him on the spot and he told them everything he knew, informing them that he had no idea who she was. He didn't know whose life he had just saved. Just a week after the incident, Travis's phone rang. It was the hospital. The woman whose life he had saved wanted to thank him in person. He remembered thinking that the woman needed support. He was genuinely concerned about her and wanted to see how she was doing in person too. The woman was staying at the hospital his daughter would often go to because of her condition. He ended up spending hours talking to the woman. He even told her what was going on with his daughter. He still had no idea who the woman was. After thanking him for the hundredth time, the woman and Travis separated ways. He was proud of himself for helping the woman, but it broke his heart knowing that he couldn't save his own daughter. Another week had passed when Travis's phone rang for the second time. This time it was the bank. Someone had anonymously transferred a massive sum of money into his account. He told the bank that it had to be a mistake, but then his phone rang once again. Are you Regina Daniels, father? A man asked. Yes, Travis replied. His stomach dropped. Usually when the hospital called about Regina, they always had bad news. What's this about? He asked, dreaded. We've booked your daughter in for her surgery. Bring her in two weeks and we'll take care of her. Pack a bag as she'll be staying for a few nights for recovery. Travis's eyes began to swell. What was happening? Who did this? Travis asked the doctor what was happening. They said that the person would like to remain anonymous, but that the hospital had been contacted to confirm funds have been received by his account for the surgery. Travis was speechless. He checked his account and indeed the call from the bank earlier was right. Someone had saved his daughter's life. He raced to his wife. He asked if she knew who could have done this. She tearfully replied no, and they both began to call all their family members and friends searching for the culprit. 
It wasn't until they were in the hospital, exhausted after a successful surgery, that a familiar face appeared before them. Travis gasped as he took in the sight of the woman. It was the woman he rescued from the snow, except for this time she looked radically different. Gone was the disheveled and rugged-looking girl who spent hours shaking the freezing cold. The woman that stood before him was pristine-looking in her navy suit. Her heels click-clocked as she entered the room. Her smile was bright and radiant. She looked like a completely different woman. Who was she? As Travis was to discover, the woman he saved was the CEO of a major tech company who was often in the media. That's why he recognized her. She had heard about Travis's tragic situation with his daughter from the nurses and decided to help. She finally found a way to return the kindness that Travis gave her and made a life-saving action of her own. This is why it's always important to treat everyone with kindness and respect. You never know what someone's going through or who you'll meet.